Hey guys and gals, this is Core Harmonic. My name is Emery, and today I am reacting to Falcon and the Winter Soldier Season 1, Episode 3, titled Power Broker. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, hit the notification bell. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell as well so that you can be notified every time we drop a video. And that could be a reaction video or reaction highlights. Smash that like button as well if you enjoy watching our reactions. If you want to see the uncut version, the full length reaction watch along to this show, to many other shows as well, then check out our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash coreharmonic. And on our Patreon page, you will find many shows and we will be doing movies at a certain point in time. And to everyone new to this channel, I don't do reactions alone. Usually it's with friends. Apologies if you hear rain in the background. These are the reaction highlights. And without further ado, enough jibber jabber. Let's get into this reaction right freaking now. I see you. Get out of my house! Let's take the shield, Sam. That was so powerful of him saying all of that. I haven't done a recap, by the way. Uh, because I don't really have a lot of time. I need to leave at a certain point. Like, I need to go to work. So that's why I haven't done a recap uh, whatsoever. When half of us came back, it was time to rejoice and reunite. The is that a, a, a commercial? <laughs> that's the first uh, commercial we get for this. But we're that's here funny. To help you that is so life. funny. Helping you back into your homes and jobs. Don't give him a second. Delete, shred. Or breathe. Well, damn. Oh! Do you know who I am? Yeah, Cap would have never done that. He would have ne he, he never would have done that. He never would have done that, I should say. Why am I messing up my words? He never would have done that. Ever. I'm going to go on along. Why? Because you're an Avenger. You know how he feels about that. Look, it's not like yep. we're known for frolicking in the sun together. He was obsessed with Hydra. We have a history together, trust me. Yes. I got it. And he'll listen to him and not to you. Because you were an, an Avenger. Yeah, boy. Those days are over. He's still trying to control him? Oh, that's messed up. Someone recreated the super soldier serum. Now you find out who. You are assuming Hydra has something to do with this. Which is why you came to me. Which means you are desperate. Well, luckily for you. Clever. Where to begin? What are you talking about? You want to break Zemo out of jail? Where the hell are we, Buck? Have you lost your mind? We have no leads, no moves, nothing. Yeah, what we have is one of the most dangerous men in the world behind bars. And, yeah, and I've been on the wrong side of that code, Buck, and so have you. He blew up the UN. He killed King T'Chaka and framed you for it. Did you forget that? You think the Wakanda yes. forgot about it? It's a rhetorical question. They didn't. <laughs> no, they didn't. Come on, it's pushing you off the deep end. Sam, we don't know how they're getting the serum. They're black. We don't black know how people many of them do not are. forget. I promise Look, you. Let me just walk. Right. Wouldn't be hard to slip down a hallway or two. Oh, oh, that guard is dead. Definitely. I don't like how casual you're being about this. It's unnatural. <laughs> Where are we, man? Yeah, he's being super casual about this. Which makes sense. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Hey, well, what are you doing here? I didn't want to tell you because I knew you wouldn't let this happen, okay? What did you do? We need him, Sam. You're going back to prison. If I may. No! no. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I, I, I deserve that one. Oh, look at that mask. Oh, look at where he put his mask. Ended the Winter Soldier program once before. I have no intention to leave my work unfinished. To do this, we'll have to scale a ladder of low lives. So all this time you've been rich? I'm a baron, Sam. My family was royalty until your friends destroyed my country. Bravo, Tiazi. Go to the dark hood. Gods for Zena. But 
This part seems to be important. Who is Nakajira? She touched that again, I'll kill you. Is that Yuri's name? Is Yuri's name Nakajima? I'm sorry. Or is that Nakajima? No, it's not Yuri. I don't think it's Yuri. It's somebody else. You didn't like it? I liked it. It is a masterpiece, James. Complete. Comprehensive. It captures the African-American experience. He's out of line, but he's right. It's great. Everybody loves Marvin Gaye. I like Marvin Gaye. Steve adored Marvin Gaye. Must have really looked up to Steve. Marvin Gaye was really good. Somebody's dying. Uh... We have to do something about this. I'm the only one who looks like a pimp. Only in America. <laughs> yes. Look exactly like the man you're supposed to be playing. The sophisticated, African rake named Conrad Mack, A.K.A. the Smiling Tiger. He even has a bad nickname. Hell, he does look like me, though. For Selby. God damn, he's gonna, he's gonna have to eat some gross shit, huh? Some eel or something. Uh. Oh man, he's gonna have to drink it. Sam, you gotta harden up. You gotta harden up, brother. Oh man, this sucks. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Zini Soldat. Spear of Atako. Damn. They offer. Tell us what you know about the super soldiers here. And I give you him. Along with the code words to control them, of course. Oh, Sarah, this is not the right time to call, girl. Sam, I'm sorry. Let, let me call you back. Sam. Who's Sam? Oh, you need to tell your sister these kind of things, bruh. Come on. You should have turned off your phone, Bucky. Come on. Come on, man. You're a pro. Ooh, somebody's helping them out. Seems to have a guardian angel. Well, this Agent 13. Drop it yes. Down. Thought it was her. You cost me everything. Sharon, wait. I also took the wings for your ass so that you could save his ass from his ass. <laughs> to back me up, oh, so. man. What's going on, Sharon? You don't ever want to come back home? He'll lock me up if I step foot back in the States. I'm sorry I didn't call. But after the blip and the chaos, I just... Look, you know the whole hero thing is a joke, right? By the way, how is the new cap? Don't get me started. Please. <laughs> but he's like, I hate him. Bullshit. Before you were his, you were Blanco Path. You were Mr. America, Cap's best friend. Wow. She's kind of awful now. Carly Morgenthal and at least <laughs> have taken the serum. You guys really should steer clear of all of this. Oh, I miss house music. So good. Hey, guys. I found her. I knew that there was a bounty. So the bounty is on their heads, but Selby is dead. Ah! Did she put it in his ass? Carly Morgenthau stole those, so... Can only imagine what the power broker has planned for that poor girl. Where's Carly now? I don't know where she is, but a couple... And Baron's just walking away like a god. Please 
got. Now. Oh, she knew. Did she did she plan to, to bomb in there? There were still people in there. This is the only language these people understand. Wow, even he's like, man. Hey! Thought so. Hell yeah. Thought so. Thought so that she'd be here for Simo. Oh man. Hell yeah, girl. Now, what I wanted to mention in the recap, which I didn't do, is that Isaiah Bradley was the first Captain America, and Eli Bradley, the kid that you saw in his house, is his grandson and will later on become the Patriot and probably join. The Young Avengers, which includes Kate Bishop as their leader, Cassie Lang, probably Iron Man's daughter, and maybe Amadeus Cho, which is a version of Hulk. And I forgot the actor's name, but I've seen him before in Supergirl. He has also done the voice for Martian Manhunter in, I think, a bunch of, like, DC animations. His performance as Isaiah Bradley, like him saying, get out of my house. It was so freaking powerful. Like it was, you can feel that it was something real. You can genuinely sense the emotion. And it truly felt like I was there. Like it really makes the audience feel like you're actually there. And he's also telling you to get out of the house. And I was like, okay, fine. I'll get out of the house. Jesus Christ. And I mean like, yeah, it really felt like that. I love that. And of course, it genuinely sucks what he had to go through. That they didn't even see him as a human. You know, they just saw him as some lab rat they can do whatever with. And it's easy to be like, well, I wouldn't say that that was necessarily racist. And I would be like, and maybe even many other people that you meet, yeah, that was racist. That was, uh, you know. What I also found out is that in a comic book, and one of the reactors was talking about this. I haven't read the comic book personally, but Hector was talking about this on Heroes Reforged, that there's a comic book where Isaiah is the first Captain America and they do all these experiments on him and they abandon him and all that kind of stuff, send him to prison. And as soon as Cap finds out about this, he cannot believe that this happened. He's so mad about it. He goes to meet him, they have a chat and they become friends. It's just messed up what the guy had to go through. This is the reward he got for being a hero. And I know that people say being a hero is its own reward, but come on, not this. But I do hope that his grandson can see Falcon as a example and decide to be an example for minorities out there and showcase that they too can be a hero, that they too can make a difference, that we should stand up for each other and keep fighting till the end. And that we should be seen as well instead of be invisible in society's eyes and only be visible when they want to enforce their racism on us. Or only want to roll with us when they see us as a jester. Something that they could just laugh at and not laugh with. So let's get into the discussion. We got our first commercial for Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and it was about the GRC, which stands for Global Repatriation Council, and it does suck that the GRC and, yeah, the government only focused on helping the people that came back and just didn't care about the people that went through the blip in those five years, with even Carly saying that as soon as people came back, she was put out on the street. They were kicked out. No wonder why she is on this mission to save the world and bring it back to the way it was during the blip. Yeah, she doesn't go about it in a good way, but I can understand where she's coming from, you know? It was funny and kind of messed up that Simo tried to uh, uh, fuck with Bucky 
as soon as he saw him by using those old words because he just wanted to mess with him. He knew that those old words don't work anymore. He's still so diabolical and as <laughs> Falcon even puts it, crazy. And the whole thing with Sam telling him that he shouldn't move without them. You know, that's the deal. And I was like, bruh, you know he's going to stab you in the back as soon as he gets the chance. Like, even during the time when they were talking to Dr. Nigo, he was still, like, looking for stuff all over the place because he knew that they were distracted with Nigo and then he took some gun somewhere and put it right behind his back in his pants, I think. It was awesome to see Agent 13, Sharon Carter, and Sam playing Conrad Mack as the Smiling Tiger. So his whole thing is that he doesn't smile and he barely talks, I guess. Sam's face when he realized that Smiling Tiger drinks this like eel-esque drink. Oh man, that was so disgusting. I, I don't know how he didn't like hurl after that like that was so gross but man you gotta power through you gotta power through we also found out that the power broker is judge jury and executioner in madripoor and this is also where carly wanted to come or wanted to be because she knew that the super soldier serum was here and the guy her friend who is with her he is second in command but it seems like he also doesn't agree with her tactics Killing innocent people in a GRC resettlement camp, but she called it a displacement camp. So is the GRC hiding something? And I'm not just talking about six months of supplies they kept in the building. It makes sense that all this time, Simo is royalty, having so many vintage cars, and that cool ass mask being in the car. It's Nakajima, Bucky's friend whose son was in the wrong place at the wrong time. So is that Yuri's kid? Or is Nakajima somebody else he's trying to make amends with? We also found out that Madripoor is a pirate place or a pirate sanctuary. So are we going to see more like badass characters? Maybe like D-list villains show up and trying to take them down? And are there going to be certain places where they have to stay in character, where there is no margin for error also? Is Agent 13 going to continue protecting them, remain their guardian angel, especially how she wants that pardon from the government promised by Sam? So there were five failed projects in Siberia, and then Dr. Neagle got brought in, and the necessary components that he isolated were from Isaiah. It's going to be interesting to see how the power broker is going to attack Carly. Knowing that Carly has those 20 files that he told Neagle to make. So I'm guessing the super soldier serum did not cure Mama Donnie's tuberculosis. The old woman she was tending to in the building, the GRC building. I do kind of hope that there is a redemption story for Carly and her friend the second in command and that she can still become a teacher and that he can still go do something that he loves and isn't it interesting that she made her whole crew drive away first right where they can't see anything and then she blew up the building and didn't tell her second in command about this probably because he was going to refuse telling him that this is how people will understand this was her making a statement this was her sending a message to the GRC, to the government, by not only blowing up the building, but also taking their supplies and helping the people that don't have anything out. Sam and Bucky are right. Her and her whole group doing this is only going to make the people who are suffering showcase their loyalty and it's going to increase by the day. I also adore the fact that the second in command regarding the Dermalage has been leaving clues for uh, Bucky. I think they set up like this whole communicating with each other thing since the time of Wakanda. Telling each other like, look, this is how we're going to communicate with each other. In case we need each other for like a mission or something. I bet they did. 
her showing up as second in command and him being the white wolf and all that kind of stuff. Just like Sam said, and just like I said, black people do not forget. Okay, so she is coming after Simo, and there is going to be an epic fight, and I cannot wait for it. And she's not going to hold back like her leader, right? Because she would show restraint, but I don't think she will. This is great. I really love this episode, especially with Simo talking to Bucky like that, telling him in another language to attack as the super soldier, and nearly breaking those guys in half. And that must have sucked for Bucky. You know, having to experience that again. With Baron also telling him multiple times that there's still an evil part to him there. A part that's still the mind-controlled part it was back then. Oof, rough. They're just planting those seeds. Foreshadowing that Bucky is going to do some messed up shit. And it's going to be awesome. He's going to need therapy for that too, but it's going to be awesome. And I hope that he just finds peace, you know? I just hope he realizes what Cap was saying about him is actually true. And I also hope that Sam finds the right person to either give the shield to, somebody that has earned it, or he starts earning it if he feels like he hasn't. And also realizes that he doesn't have to become Captain America. He can just be Falcon and still wield the shield. I don't know what his name is. Is it Shadow Star or something like that? There was a part where he and John Walker were talking about Sam and Bucky. And that they actually got Simo out of prison. And the US agent, because that's what I'm calling him, he knows that... The government doesn't care about the how they got this particular thing or that particular thing done. They only care about did you get it done. But looking at him, it made me wonder if he actually has that serum in him. The way he was throwing the shield in the second episode. Or is he maybe enhanced? Are both of them enhanced? Like what has the government done to them? To actually come out like this. To actually be able to fight like this. And take on super soldiers. We also found out that Baron Simo is left handed. Which is an interesting little nugget. I like that. We got a mention of the scientist Erskine. Is that like a famous scientist in the real world? Or was that the name of the scientist who put the serum in... Uh, Cap's body in the first place is it that guy or is it somebody else I loved Agent 13's fight scene where they had that whole one shot thing going on and you can also see it from the air Sam yelling I can't run in these heels was so funny and Baron Simo being in that whole house party in the bar going like this that was really funny as well. I love when villains get to have fun, you know what I mean, and act like normal people from time to time. I love that Bucky thinks that Sharon is awful now. Sharon just doesn't give a fuck with her saying, like, ah, this whole stripes thing is bullshit. You being Mr. America and all that kind of crap. <laughs> she has just lost hope in the government. But I do hope that she gets the pardon and can actually see her dad and the rest of her family. Especially how the dad doesn't even know where the hell his daughter is. Sam yelling something about it's in every action movie was also funny. I did like that. The whole call back to Civil War, what I forgot to mention about that, is that this is Bucky getting his revenge for what Sam did as soon as... As the Winter Soldier theme song was playing, nobody's gangster anymore, nobody's badass anymore, everybody's quiet because they know, they know some ass whipping is about to happen. Simo saying only an American would think that a fashion forward black man looks like a pimp. Oh, uh, yeah, he's so right, he's so right. That was funny. It's like, ah, uh, you Americans. 
and maybe it wasn't a good idea for Bucky to whoop ass in the bar because the people in the bar started recording on their phones and that's not gonna go well for him in therapy. Not at all. Them running as soon as they put the bounty on their heads was really like a John Wick scenario in John Wick 2 when he was running from everybody at the end in that long ass streak with his dog knowing that he's injured and everybody looking at him like they want to kill him and it's interesting that Simo compares Red Skull to Captain America and to the super soldiers and to the Avengers so that's why he wants to take out both because he sees them as idols as pretty much the same. To him, these people get put on pedestals and people realize that they're not perfect and sometimes they do bad things and then you have opposing groups and then wars start to happen which is an interesting reason for him to be like yeah, I gotta take all of them out. I gotta stop that whole Winter Soldier program. So this whole time, that notebook was Cap's notebook in which Sam told Cap to write Trouble Man. At the end, the clues left for Bucky are actually from a Wakandan bracelet that the Wakandas had on in the Black Panther movie. And with these kind of bracelets, I think they can control certain tech. I think they also used it on Vision when they were trying to remove the Mind Stone from him. This is the end of the discussion. To everyone new to this channel, we do reactions to trailers, shows, and we will also be doing movies at a certain point in time. If you want to see the full length reaction watch along, go to our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Corharmonic. You will find bloopers there as well. You will find many exclusive perks and freebies there as well. If you can't help support us there yet, or if you just enjoy this channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell, smash the like button, and I will see you or we will see you in the next reaction video, reaction highlights, or full-length reaction watch-alongs. Bye!